So today we'll be learning how to convert a color image into black and white using GIMP. So the process is very simple. However, um, processing a black and white picture could be challenging uh, for various reasons um, because you will just be converting uh, a color image into two color black and white and so it depends a lot on the image you are processing so you have to be a little more careful uh, when you convert an image into black and white and it is highly recommended that if you want to um, produce a black and white image uh, you shoot that picture in black and white and if you can uh, shoot it in raw file uh, that will enable you to uh, recover the color anytime but um, when you shoot in black and white you know a lot more about the image in that way anyways so here we have got an image and first I'm going to duplicating this image and then um, as you can see um, here uh, we have mainly the focus and uh, more light in the front but there are a lot of details in the back and um, before we uh, convert this image in, into black and white it's probably better to recover some of the shadows here and the details so how we do it so first we go to the color menu and then we increase the exposure a bit and you can do it according to preference and also depending on the image you edit um, and then uh, we can recover some shadows and then we also can adjust the level here uh, this way we can recover some black areas and also uh, we can use uh, dodge and burn tool and uh, if you don't know how to use this tool we have separate video on this you can check it out so basically this tool enable us to um, darken and brighten part of the image um, according to preferences so maybe I will just brighten up a bit around here so that there will be more detail because for me uh, these details are also important all these wires and people yes so you just uh, play with this according to your preference and when you are happy then we can go for the conversion so just the way you can actually adjust before you um, finally convert your image into black and white so so now we are going to the color menu and from there desaturate and here if you just simply want to desaturate like convert with one click black and white just click desaturate so the image has been desaturated I guess if you are happy with the shadows and highlights of the image you simply can desaturate otherwise uh, you always can um, uh, adjust it further using mono mixer that's what I always recommend and when you uh, go to mono mixer you will have these uh, options here like uh, different channels red green and blue so you can adjust them according to your preference so let's say if we increase the red channel multiplier value it's going to brighten up the red red part uh, similarly if you think that if we want to uh, decrease or increase the uh, green uh, channel multiplier we can do that and you can see how it affects our uh, image um, similarly we can work with the blue and I also recommend to consider you uh, ticking this box here preserving luminosity that helps a lot as well to get the, to get a better result Alright, so when we're happy, just click OK, and then you, you still can um, increase the contrast uh, if you want. You can recover shadows if you want, but I recommend that you do it before 
uh, and then if there is a slight adjustment you need you can do it after uh, similarly we also can use dozen bar again to let's say to darken this white part a bit and then we also can adjust the highlights a bit if you think it's too much and there is another thing I would like to uh, mention is that to check the uh, white balance I recommend that you go to color menu and then auto and then check the uh, auto white balance how it comes out but sometimes it helps you to uh, get a good result um, so as you can see uh, uh, when we applied the auto uh, white balance it didn't change much uh, but still um, it helped uh, to recover some details around here uh, auto white balance does not always produce the expected results so you have to be careful as well but it helps you to understand uh, the white balance of the image and uh, produce a better result based on uh, your understanding so friends this is how you can convert a color image into black and white using Kim. I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.